Good evening, teacher. Good evening, William. Hello, how are you? Very well, teacher, and you? Just fine, just fine. Here, ready to start our class. What about you? How's everything? Excellent notice, teacher. Hi, uh, me, I have. Uh, that's perfect. Uh, I day heavy. Heavy day? Today, uh -huh. They have it, but I like what I, I do. That's cool. That's cool. Excellent. Glad to hear that. Yes, I'm uh, here, ready to learn English. Always. That's nice. That's nice. That's a very good attitude. Yes. So what time did you get home? Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, always any problem, but uh, I I now uh, working in this in this problem. Uh, in this moment, uh, ninety five person 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 percent percent yes. Este, eh, eh, me faltan, how do you say me faltan? How do you say I me faltan? I am missing, I am este, around 40 activities eh, for complex the, the, this unit, the last unit. Oh, that's excellent. That's just excellent. So glad to hear that. That's actually great. Good for you, my friend. Okay. How do you say tamales, teacher? Tamales. Yes. Tamales. It doesn't change. Tamales. <laughs> eh, eh. This tonight is uh, eating tamales with my family. Tamales and bread. Bombs. 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 Oh, that's cool. This, this food is delicious. Good for you, my friend. Good for you. Okay, teacher. Well, welcome to the class. Thanks, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Let's see who else is around. Susana, hello, Susana, how are you? How are you, teacher? I'm Did fine, fine, that's fine. What about you? How's everything? Mm. And I, I will say, or actually or now in my house, but it's a traffic, I know, horrible. Oh, really? I see. It's a stressful. <laughs> I can imagine, yeah. It's a, it's a day or it's a poco pagar on the chair. <laughs> oh, it's been payday. It's a pay, pay. Pay salary. Uh, payday, payday. Payer. Payday. Ah, payday, payday. Mm -hmm. But he says, uy, no. It's stressful. I can imagine. What time did you get home tonight? Excuse me, teacher. At what time? What time did you get home? Um, um, uh, 8 p.m. At 8 p.m.? Mm -hmm. um, I, oh. I finished and I come I went, I went yes. and my, oh, I went my office. No, salí de mi office, 
Uh, teacher. I left. I, I left, left my office. I left my office. Five. Five. Um, theory. Theory. Five theory. Theory. Oh. Mm -hmm. theory. Mine, teacher. Two hours. <laughs> the traffic. Yeah, I can imagine. I know what the traffic is like. Well, the good thing is that you are here in class. Welcome to the class. Okay. Thank you very much for being here. Let's see who else is around. Let's see, Marta. Hello, Marta. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good, teacher. And you? I'm just fine. Just fine. Tell me, how's everything? Was everything was okay, teacher? Uh, my day was uh, very busy, but uh, everything was okay. I am ready for the class. Okay, well, the good thing is that you're here in class. Okay, let me just do something. Okay, let's see, let's see. So, Marta, tell me, we are almost done with the course. Tell me, what's the plan? What are you going to do? What's going to be your schedule next week that you are not going to be in class? What, what do you usually do at this time of the day when you don't have class? Um, usually, I watch TV, teacher. <laughs> oh, really? So, I hope learn English for one month. Yeah, and I mean, we are not going to be together for, yeah, almost one month. Yeah. I try, teacher. <laughs> Let me just do something. I'm sorry, Martha. Just let me get something. Give us something here. Don't worry, teacher. Okay, guys, it's just a little thing that I need to report. Just a second. Well, let's see. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your time for waiting for me. Before we move on, let me please get the attendance. Okay. Thank you, Claudia. Let's see. 
Let me get the attendance before anything else happens. Okay, perfect. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Thank you. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portilla. Present teacher. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Oh, okay. And let's see. Nicolás Mendes. Okay, let's continue. Let's see. Francisco. Hello, Francisco. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? How's everything? Just fine, teacher. Uh, a little tired, but I'm ready. <laughs> okay, excellent, excellent. So you're getting ready for work or you are at work right now? No teacher, in my house. Uh, uh, tomorrow I, I start uh, my shift in the night. At night? At night, sorry teacher. Okay, what? Teacher, how uh, uh, how is the weather in in your in your town <laughs> in this moment? Well, during the day it was it was windy, but right now it's like normal, you know. Okay, perfect. Acajutla in this moment is very hot. It's not windy. Yeah, I mean, the wind stopped. It stopped during the day. In, in, this, in this time the, of the year, uh, this, the, this hot is not, not, not normal. 
usually uh, a Kahootla in, in in December is is cool. All right. But I don't I don't know uh, why is hot in this moment. Yeah, I mean it, it suddenly changed because it was like fresh a little bit, and now it's it's getting warm again. I wonder why. Teacher, uh, uh, what did the current word uh, for say uh, calor, war or hot? Well, it's hot today. Hot. Okay. Yes. Or the weather is warm. If you say the word weather, you say warm. Unless it's pretty hot, you know? Oh, okay, teacher. Okay. How do you say, teacher, uh, do that in English? Doubt. Doubt. Like this, let me fix it for you. Doubt. Doubt, oh, okay, doubt. Okay, yep. teacher. <laughs> it's, a, it's a new word for me. Really? It's a, 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 a common, but uh, I... You don't use uh, it, you I, don't use it regularly. Yes, yes, that, that is, is the common. <laughs> I don't use it. <laughs> I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, but when in doubt, ask me, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Thanks to you, my friend, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Amber. Hello, Amber. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? It's great. It's great. Tell me, how was your day? Mm, actually, my day was very busy in the afternoon because I have many clients for attending, but it was a productive day for me because I, I could say to police, police, policies, policies. All policies. yes, sorry. <laughs> I always, I have a doubt for this work. Yeah, well, that's good. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, that's good. I mean, slowly, slowly, but you are getting everything ready, right? Yes, I, for my goal, I I have pending three policies for uh, accomplish my goal. Oh really? Just three? Yes, just three. But <laughs> I try to sail people lies in in this weekend because the next week uh, maybe will be difficult for the holidays. Yeah, most probably, yeah, because I mean, everybody's not going to be thinking about policies, they're gonna be thinking about spending the money, right? Exactly, spending the money in for the dinner or gift for yeah, their families. Every, everybody wants to give a present and yeah, that's normal. Yes. Hey, well, let's hope you can make it this week. Let's hope. Yes, exactly. Thank you for your wish. Thanks to you for being here in class. Thank you and welcome, Amber. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Jose Wilfredo. Hello, how are you? So far, so, so good, teacher. That's great. Nice attitude. Do you hear me, teacher? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Because I'm driving to my new house because today they gave me the, the keys. So now. Well, let me know when you got better availability. Don't worry, don't worry. We can talk later, okay? No problem. 
Don't worry. I'm driving, but I can't do it in the class. Okay? Yeah. yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Stay focused on the street also. We will talk later, okay? Let's see who else is around. Okay. Uh, Maria Alejandra, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. You? I'm fine. What's wrong with your truck? I don't know, teacher. I think that is when I feel very stressful and my, I don't know, my voice changed. <laughs> or is a sign a señal? Sign up. A sign up when I feel tired because uh, many weeks uh, happen like this and I don't know. <laughs> and the weather is um, fresh and I don't know. I think that is the reason maybe to affect me. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I feel so fine. <laughs> so sorry to hear that, but let's hope you get better. Yes, sure. But it's in a moment even when I speak, but when I don't speak, I don't feel. Mm. I don't remember that word. Well, do you say ronca? With a deep voice. Well, actually, it's a rough <laughs> voice. I feel. <laughs> Man, I don't talk much in the afternoon. <laughs> okay, well, but the good thing is that you are here, ready for the class. So relax a little bit. We are going to talk later, okay? Thank you very much and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Let's see who else is around. Walter, hello, Walter, how are you? Hi, teacher. Oh, a little tired. Oh, really? Ah, yes, and um, my day very busy, very busy. Uh, uh, we are preparing the work for next year. Already? Already? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, it always happens that for this day, in the department design, we had a lot of work, teacher. And always, my company uh, is SAC. How do you say? It's like that. It's like that. It's like that, my company. For the moment, I have got a sweldo. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, the good thing is that you are ready for that. I mean, it's no news for you. No, 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 no. You get used um, to it. Yeah, I mean, just take it easy. You will see, you will make it on time. Oh, yeah. thank you. No, thanks to you for being here in class. Okay, teacher. Welcome. Let's see, there's also Janira. Good evening, Janira, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm good. What about you? I'm just fine. Where were you? Uh huh. You were not home. No, Three. I'm. Oh, nice. <laughs> I arrived at home right now, teacher. I uh, start the stage and connect to the class. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. It's always good to to be on time, to be ready. And I mean, if you cannot make it right on time, but 
as soon as you can. Yeah, and the traffic like, is terrible, you know, teacher. It's yeah, so traffic crazy. Is, traffic is hideous right now. Yes, teacher. And it's and it's gonna be worse. Worse? And it's going to be worse. Let me just text it for you. Worse. Peor. Uh, I don't remember the meaning of this word, teacher. Peor. Oh, yeah, worse. Yeah, every day is worse. Every, every day is getting worse. It's getting worse, okay. Yeah, I know, I mean it. Oof. Tomorrow I'm going to be downtown San Salvador all day long. Oh my gosh. And Terrible, I'm sorry San for Salvador. you. Yes. yes. All street is crawl. Yeah. Yeah, I went, well, I went to San Salvador today in the morning. And it was, you know, acceptable just acceptable we will see tomorrow because yeah. i need to leave my house like around 6 a.m i need to be downtown san salvador at 8 a.m uh, i guess teacher that in the afternoon is worse than the morning the traffic i guess that i'm not sure but i i, I guess that yeah, but anyway, you know, that's life. By the way, guys, I'm sorry, I'm going to switch into Spanish for a minute. Perdón, este recordatorio lo voy a estar haciendo ahora, a la clase, al final de la clase. Les recuerdo de que van a estar recibiendo la encuesta de la nota de satisfacción. Recordemos que esa la llenan conmigo el último día, yo les confirmo la hora en la cual la vamos a hacer, ¿ok? Solamente ese recordatorio. Thank you. So, let's see. Silvia. Hello, Silvia. How are you? Thanks, Jenny. Hello. I'm good. Thank you. Tell me, you home already? Yeah, I'm home already. I finished today at four. Oh, really? That's cool. So you yeah. have time to relax a little bit. Yeah, I prepared dinner and then I just had a uh, dinner and I'm here in class. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. So what did you have for dinner tonight? Tell me. Uh, pupusa. Oh, that's so bad. So sorry for no, you. I'm why? kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Okay, tell me, which are your favorite ones? Cheese and beans. Cheese and beans? Okay, rice or corn pupusas? I like corn. Yeah, the same as my wife, but she doesn't like them. She loves them. Oh, really? Why you do yeah. that? I don't. I can tolerate rice pupusas, tolerate, but I like them with a lot of, uh, of, of, of oil, uh -huh. almost fried. <laughs> yeah, they are delicious. Yeah, that's the only way. And how often do you eat them? Well, they make me eat them uh, every weekend. Every weekend. <laughs> oh no. And if it's possible, I mean, sometimes in the middle of the week, she prepares that for dinner. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So bad. No, that's good. They are delicious. <laughs> yeah, of course, for you, you love them. But what about me? I don't like them. As I tell you, I just tolerate them. Okay. <laughs> and what's your favorite um, food? What's at a special um, or a perfect dinner for you? Ooh, stuffed uh, green pepper. 
chili relleno. Green pepper. That's, that's my favorite, favorite, favorite ever. Oh, okay. Yeah, I and like them also, but I like the the potatoes rellenos de oh. papas rellenas. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, that's nice. The same as tomato. Stuff. You say it stuffed. Stuff. Like this, look. Stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I love them also. Oh, you know what's terrible for me in December? That if I go visit people like the 24th or the 31st, people love stuff. Uh, let's see. Chicken stuffed bread. Man, I hate uh, You don't like it? No. No, even why? <laughs> I can't uh, believe you. I don't. I mean, I eat them, but uh, I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> and every house that you visit, you yeah, have to everybody's eat got, everybody's <laughs> got, everybody's yeah. got. And in my house, they also love them. And I mean, for them, that's a special treat. Oh, this is a special really? treat for them. Yes, they love them. I mean, they make a big event out of it. If my wife or one of her sisters says, hey, tonight we are going to prepare chicken stuffed bread, man, they get together, um, in, they teach in, everybody, they prepare it. It's a big dinner. It's a good event for them. They really love them. Uh, and you know, yeah. all me sitting there just like this, watching them and, and waiting for the bad <laughs> moment. No, I can't believe you. <laughs> I don't know why you don't like this kind of, or yeah, this kind of food. It's, it's delicious. Everyone loves to eat uh, yeah. chicken, mm -hmm. have bread. <laughs> You know what's my second favorite food is? Yeah. Um, flor de with, Flor de with, Yeah, with egg. Man, that's delicious. Oh, really? Yeah, I like it too. I can eat it. I love it. No, I don't like it. I love it. Oh, really? For me, that's, <laughs> yeah, for me, that's a special. You know something funny? Whenever yeah. I go to it. Whenever we go with uh, with my wife and my son or with relatives to to a restaurant, to any restaurant on the beach, I am the only one who never eat fish. Oh, and what about the cocktails? I can, yeah, I, I can eat cocktails. I love cocktails, but not fish. No uh, fish. Yeah, if they are eating uh, fish, I order, you know, a sandwich, a club sandwich. No. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> That's why my oh, wife says yes. that it's very complex with me. Yes, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I go there, I order a cocktail. I love cocktails, you know, and ceviches. Oh man, I love them. But One ceviche a, with a... five beers. <laughs> no, <laughs> just one or two <laughs> tops. <laughs> I can't and believe it. <laughs> actually, you know what I do when I am, uh, if I go there and I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna really eat, I order first uh, a cocktail, a Tom Collins cocktail. Okay. I love Tom Collins, it's delicious. I yeah, order I... it before, before eating, then I eat, and I can have one more beer because remember, I'm always driving. Okay. Yeah, it's it's good. Yeah. I like it too. I don't drink actually. I don't drink any type of alcohol. But when I have the Hard opportunity drinks. to go Hard to, drinks. you don't you don't need to say alcohol. You can say hard drinks. Hard drinks. Ah, yeah. I don't or, usually. Or I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Or some people say, uh, let's see, spirits. When they refer specifically to, to alcohol, spirits. not beers. Yeah. 
spirits uh, and composers, all type of wine, you know, wine, alcohol, like a scotch, like vodka. Some people, you can hear them say spirits. It's not quite common, but some people use it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I was telling you that I don't like spirits. Is it correct to say just that? Spirits? You can say hard drinks. Hard drinks, More yeah. colloquially, is hard drinks. Yeah, no, spirits will you... sound bad in you. You are too young for that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like to, to drink hard to how or to get how do you say how can i formulate the, the 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 sentence okay you can just say i don't like hard drinks okay i don't like hard drinks i just um for example if i go to have one cocktail i can drink but just only one <laughs> and that's all okay or perhaps you like them virgin excuse me or perhaps you like them virgin I'm sorry, I don't, I can't get when, it. When you get that cocktail, oh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, we're talking about two different types of cocktails. You are referring to a co cocktail food. Yeah, sure. Or the beverage. Okay, now, when it's a beverage, a cocktail, like a piña colada, you can order okay. a piña colada, a virgin one, okay? How do you That's write it? Virgin. It's, it's just the, 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 the cocktail without alcohol. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, you can have one, you say. Yeah, just one, and that's all. That gets you busy. <laughs> no, I feel okay. Okay, it's that's fun. cool, that's cool. Yeah, I mean... It's good to enjoy yourself, but not to overdo it. No, no, no. I don't, yeah. I, I never drink uh, that's hard. That's better, that's better. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, you can never go to have dinner with Maria Alejandra, you know, bad influence. You gotta be oh, careful. really? <laughs> yeah. No. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. She will get mad at me, you see. <laughs> She goes like, no way, Jose. Hey, Sylvia, nice talking to you. Welcome. Hey, nice. Thank you. Fernando. Hello, Fernando. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. I'm very How's sorry. everything? <laughs> uh, everything. Everything's a lot of work, you know. But all is okay. Okay, well. That's the way it goes, you know? Yes. Another day, another dollar, right? <laughs> yes. It's yeah, our, right. our um, how do you say, lemma. Our team, our, uh, let me text it for you uh, more specifically. Come on. Um, you can say moro. Moro. Yes, it's our moro. It's our moro. I'll, I'll get it for you. Like this. It's our moro. Okay, it's our moro. Yeah, it's our moro. Another day, another dog. <laughs> but I'm here. Please, ready to learn. Yeah, I mean, it's always good. Um, so, that's your motto. That's nice, that's nice. You know, it's <laughs> been a while for me without, I have, Read the word many times, but I don't usually use it. Okay. You don't usually so, use it, that word. No, no, I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not common happens for me to, to say, oh, look, our motto is, you know. <laughs> okay. 
it's not quite quite common but yeah once in a while i hear it and i use it but oof. like yeah. last time i use it man well to give you an idea it wasn't this year okay <laughs> for me so, it's it's it, now i thinking it's really for me that i don't know uh, how do you say that word in english because i am you use it a lot of, no i have uh, no no I'm the, i don't use it but i'm fan of of game of thrones every every house has a moral in this fiction oh yeah it's true yeah but it's i true. never i never i had never no i never heard about it and you know what's the funny thing i read them books you you I read, read yeah i read the books game of thrones okay and actually i have never seen the, the series okay i i read the book but in spanish my goal is know. reading in english one day <laughs> oh it's heavy reading it's a good it's a good goal but if you want to start reading you need to start reading something softer okay Okay. get in touch with me after the class or one of these days and i'll give you some some suggestions okay okay teacher uh, yeah but uh i really really like it no i i like it to one day i i be yeah, able yeah, to of read. course of course <laughs> of course and i mean but the problem is this that oh, you are a busy person my friend yeah <laughs> yeah no uh, that's why and i mean for you to get to read to that level i can help you out but uh you will need some some tips okay okay, okay. like uh, well something that i can tell the whole class is like this if you want to start reading reading in english like really reading i mean you gotta start with some light literature and when i mean light i'm talking about the type of vocabulary because oh, okay. depending depending on the type of books i mean the vocabulary is very heavy very heavy yeah i i check in this book in in the library store in english and that's um i try to read one page and i i understand some word but not the 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 complete sentence or the yeah. complete paragraph well actually you know that's why and also you need to start with short books why because when you start reading and like literature uh, the first time you read it you're not going to get it no. you need to read it once perhaps mark some words just to get the sense the whole idea and then read again the second time you will catch more on the idea and understand more the, the the sense of every situation that you encounter but as i tell you it will depend also on the type of books that you read it's nice to read but you gotta be careful what you start reading on because otherwise it could be it could become frustrating oh, okay well, so, so be, in well, order in order not to get frustrated you need to start with something like but don't worry i'll give you some tips about it okay we will talk like, later like like a tale yeah yeah could be well actually you know tales for little kids are not that easy in english mm. okay because all tales for little kids like the classical ones and the the language is very poetic and in poetry uh, the problem is that when you talk about poetry language uh, the rules some of the grammar rules can be avoided and that's accepted oh, okay. you don't need to really Understood. follow all the rules so it could be confusing sometimes oh, okay okay but, when, as when I tell you... you don't worry we will talk later about it okay Thank you'll see you'll see welcome to the class always Thank a pleasure you. talking to you Let's see, Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher, how are you? Just fine, what about you? 
here with some trouble to get connection with my computer, but now it is solved. Well, you know, you are not the only one. My computer is acting up and I don't know what's going on. I guess Janita will tell me now again to get the hammer and start, you know, hitting it. <laughs> because last time you I asked her, hey, Janita, I'm having a problem. And she told me, teacher, do you have a hammer? And I was like, yeah, I have a hammer. I use it to, to put nails on the wall. And she told me, okay, get the hammer and smash it. <laughs> That helps. the best way the best way yeah. Yeah. you see you got it teacher <laughs> you see you see that's the best solution so wilfredo you can use that okay teacher thank wilfredo you for, goes like, for no this. way <laughs> nah, I, I know no 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 it's not my it's not my advice it's janira's advice you know she says smash it you can start just like here and you know with your palm the the old yeah. one that's, it's the easy way it. wilfredo because you if you try to to repay you know or buying a new come on <laughs> the best way is <laughs> so smash it. there you have it <laughs> okay 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 thank you thank you but yeah, you know, I'm teacher, so, 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 so tired, yes. teacher. Yeah, I'm not so tired because the, this is the last week that we are going to um, produce. Then yesterday we paid a bonus. Today we make some, some activities for, um, for, from Christmas. We evaluate the best you need the best decorate in each unit production production unit or unit production production unit production unit yeah but um, science we start to prepare uh, the last week science the last week then today all the morning we have to to do some activity but when my boss told me, hey, Wilfredo, what's up? What, what the problem? But the matter why the production is very, very bad. At the moment that people are preparing for the evaluate. Yeah, but we have to produce. But yeah, what we can right? do is that the people, the, the people now, teacher, always the last week, they are in, in Modo vacacion. Okay, yeah, you know what? That's Mr. Osorio's fault, right? Yeah, yes. Yes, he, he's my co-worker. He's a trainer, but I'm a supervisor, but uh, he's... Yeah, no, he's but it's same. his fault. Es culpa de él, you know? <laughs> no, Osorio is very, very, very good trainer. Oh, okay, he, that's good. That's he good. teach very nice to the people. Excellent. Yes, but, but... Yeah, but people is like that, you know. Uh, I mean, when yes. you are like... It, the same happens when it's the last hour of the day, you know. When it's the last hour, you start like just watching the, the clock and your your productivity yes. slow, slows down, right? Slow. Slow. Yes, I always talk to the people teacher that always we have some a uh, little time to 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 make fun, to make some jokes. But when we have to work so hard, the people is ready to do it. But what we can say to the people, it is occupational hazard. Yeah, we have to understand right. always. Yeah. And what about you, teacher? Same old story, my friend. Let's see. Today, well, today I was driving in San Salvador in the morning. A little bit. Uh, I came home at noon. I could relax a little bit, which is weird. And relax because tomorrow is going to be a very heavy day. I need to go downtown early in the morning. 
come from San Salvador. I'm going to stay in San Salvador, moving from place to place almost all day. I expect to be home around 5 p.m. perhaps. Then I have a meeting from 6 to 7, 30 p.m. Then I have the class, this class tomorrow night. So tomorrow is going to be crazy for me. You were very busy, teacher. Yeah, let's see. Well, actually, my week is going to be very interesting because Thursday, Thursday morning, I think I have a meeting with uh, uh, with some parents and the mayor of one town close to San Martin. And because I'm working for the city hall there, and in the afternoon I have to teach a class. Uh, I need to go to San Salvador to teach that class. Friday morning, I need to go to the, I need to take my son for uh, driving classes. Then I need, in the afternoon, I need to go down from San Salvador to teach a class. And it's going to be heavy because traffic Friday is going to be crazy. So I imagine. this week is, this week is crazy for me, but Next week is going to be the total opposite. It's going to be very slow. Calm. Slow or calm, teacher? Slow or calm? It's going to be slow. Slow. Ah, okay. So, ah, okay. I mean, this week is the one that is going to be hectic for me. But, you know, that's life. Part of the day. That's on, from and the, this the last Sunday teacher or Saturday, I I want to go to San Salvador to buy something to give to the people. But when I imagine about traffic, I, I prefer prefer to bought here in Santa Ana because I need to spend a lot. I want of time. it. I want it too. I want it. I want it. Ah, I want it too. I want it to do. I wanted to go to San Salvador. I'm um, okay. Yeah, but when... Yeah, I when start... you think about traffic, it's, I mean, you get like... Uh... Yes, I imagine two hours from Santa Ana to San Salvador is very hard. And I, I it is very boring for me yes, to be in traffic. Yeah, I I don't I don't have any nothing patient paciencia. Yeah, I'm not patient. Yeah, and you know. I'm not uh, patient. Yeah, I know what you mean, and, and I mean uh, traffic discourage you, right? Traffic discourage. Okay. Desanima. Discourage. Yes. Discourage. Yes, yes, it is. I, I, it is, it is hard for me driving when, when the traffic is very hard. Yeah, no. Well, you know, sometimes in San Salvador, I have been stuck in traffic, like three hours. The the <laughs> no, that, I, I guess, teacher, that the situation is that because I always I I have been working in my comp in my company for twenty three years, but yeah, always you don't I, usually I, get in traffic. Yes, I I go to from Santa the from Santa Ana to American Park. It is. It is hardly ever we can get some traffic hard. Yeah, yeah. Because you're not used to it. Yes, yes. Yeah, but, but if you come to San Salvador, always... man, yeah. it gets exciting. If not, as Susana, she was telling me today that it took her like more than two hours to get home. Yeah, but it here is it's normal. Yeah. Hey, Wilfredo, thank you very much. Welcome to the Now, thanks to you. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see.
Well, actually, today I was interested in talking to you and having this little conversation because we don't usually have it no more like me one on one with all of you. But let me get the second attendance because believe it or not, the first hour has gone by. And Barelli Alfaro Gomez? Present. Thank you, my dear. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez? No here. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrentos? Found there. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia? Here. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present. Thank you. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present. Thank you, Jose. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Thank you. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Oh, my angel face. I remember Marta. Nicolás Atilio Méndez. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Thank you, Claudia. Present. Thank you, Silvia. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you, Walter. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. William Giovanni Rosales Calves. Present teacher. And Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Okay, guys, let's see. Well, as I told you yesterday, we were going to have the conversation. We were also going to work a little bit on the, on the manual. And I told you that I was going to try to have a more of a conversation section so we could like talk to each other. But now we are going to jump into the job with the manual because there are still some things that we need to cover from there. Let me share with you the first activity that we're going to do here. Okay, building vocabulary. We are talking, remember the topic for unit four is loyalty and we are in page number 34 from the manual. And let's see, brand recall, recognition, top of mind, brand dominance, unknown brand. Customers don't recognize your brand. Customers can recall any brand but yours for a particular product category. A consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category. The first brand customers can think of for a product category. Consumers can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cue. Remember this sentence, mean, this word means line, okay? Line. But before I send you to work in the groups, let me get you a picture. Remember, we need to do the match. And remember, what are we going to match? The stages of brand awareness. The stages of brand awareness are brand recall, recognition, top of mind, brand dominance, and unknown brand. Okay, guys. We're going to have just uh, three minutes for, I'm sorry, five minutes for this activity. Let me get you into the groups. Groups are created. Please jump in.
Okay, we are going to choose the correct uh, answer. Yes. In the manual. Customers don't recognize your brand. Unknown brand? Customers can't recall any brand but yours for a particular product category. Okay, customer don't recall. Brand. Yes, brand, brand recall, I think. Okay. A uh, customer is able to recall the name of the brand when given a product category. Recognition? Is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category. Yeah, recognition. The first brand customers can think of for a product category. First brand, top, top of mind. I can think top of mind, yeah. Customer can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual, with a visual, I don't know. Okay, we... It's a real word, right? Yes. It's a visual cue. Cue. The pronunciation, you mean? Uh -huh. Okay. Actually, you know, uh, in the United States, you say line, but uh, you say Q, Q, Q. Imagine that you are saying it with a K. And, okay, you know, the sound of the K comes from here. El sonido de la letra K viene de aquí. ¿Ok? It's like that. It's... So, Q, Q. Imagine that you got a uh, uh, Spanish I, sonido de una I latina, and then the sound of a Spanish U, el sonido de una U latina. So, Q, 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 Q. Q. Like yeah. that. Okay. Q, Q. Es la, Q es la cola, oh. Yep, yeah, exactly. Okay. Q. Can someone can correct it if a particular project is a visual Q. Q. That is brand, brand dominance. Yeah, maybe brand. Brand dominance. Dominance. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. But it's the only that I have. Dominance. 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 Okay. Okay. The, the order is five, one, two, three, four. Okay. That's that's the order that you have, Silvi. Yes. Okay. okay. It's correct. It's correct, teacher. What? The order you mean? Tell me the order you got, please. That we had is five, yeah. one, two, Oops. five, four. Oh, four. Brand dominance. Dominance. Yes. Okay. Okay. Four is brand dominance. Is customers can't recall any brand. Okay, that brand recall is a consumer is, is able to recall 
the name of Abraham. Okay, Ambar, good thing you are back. Let's see, we're just waiting for everybody to be back in 15 seconds so we can do the exercise. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's do this exercise quite fast. Let me get everything ready. Perfect. Oops. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Um, Fernando, number one, brand recall. Brand recall. Brand recall is, I think that is a consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category. Okay, perfect. Great. Walter, number two, recognition. Uh, consumer can correctly identify a particular product used with a visual kit. Q. 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 Perfect, mister. That's number Thank two. You. Thank you. Well done, well done, well done. Let's see, number three, top of mind. Top of mind goes to, let's see, who is it going to be? Mr. Osorio, top of mind. Well, teacher, uh, top of mind is the first brand customer can think of for a product category. Let's see, the first brand customers can think of for a product category, perfect. Just remember, Mr. Osorio, in this case, you say it, I'm sorry, you say it like this. The first brand customers can think of for a product category. You go like up, can think of, then you stop a little pause, a little, can think of for a product category. Say it again, please. The first brand customer can think of for a product category. Perfect, that's the way, excellent. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see. Marta, my dear, you've been pretty quiet. You got number four, brand dominance. Okay, brand dominance. Customers cannot for record any brand value for a particular product category. Perfect, just remember, when you are saying can in the negative form cannot you say it you stress the pronunciation customers can't recall any brand but yours for a particular product category read it again please okay customer can recall any brand but you for a particular product category perfect my dear thank you thank you 
Shanira, you got last one. Say the 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 the. Unknown brand. Okay. Unknown. 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 Unknown, yes. Unknown, Unknown brand. brand. Customer don't recognize your brand. Perfect. That's number five. Great. Very well done, guys. Excellent activity. So let's move on. Okay, then look, this is something that I wanted to get to. How to use expressions to clarify a point, okay? Look at the examples in the box, then we are going to complete the exercise in number seven, okay? But now, sometimes we need to introduce clarification, the explanation or exemplification of our ideas of, as we speak. Use, in other words, that is, or that is to say, the difference between saying that is and that is to say is that is to say is formal. That is informal, okay? Simply put, to make your point clear to others, okay? One way to help your target market like and trust you is to publish often to online channels. In other words, write a blog that informs, entertains, and educates. Amber, please help me reading number two. You can increase your rating as an expert and reach a broader market by developing a postcard. That is to say, record your, your thoughts and allow your customers to download it. Perfect. Let's see, Francisco, number three, please. Hey, teacher. Today, customers are looking for warranties. Simply put, a sectional survey after they have purchased your product. Excellent. And let's see, William, number four. Another free marketing resource for your current intern customer is invited them to participate in a social networking site Normally, a Facebook group. Great. Uh, Maria Alejandra, number five. And the ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. This which means that you must focus on satisfying customer needs. Okay, perfect. In this case, Maria Alejandra, you say, this means, uh, this or you means. say, which means, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. This mean or which means, whichever way is correct. Thank you. Okay. So if you notice guys, there's something very interesting, okay? In other words, that is to say, or that is simply put, namely, all of them, if you see, there's a comma before and a comma after. With exception with this means or which means. In this case, there's just a comma previous, not at the end, okay? So the ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. This means that you must, if you notice, there's no pause. This means that you must, in this case, another free marketing resource for your current internet customers is inviting them to participate in a social networking site, namely a Facebook group. You see, there's a pause. Why? Because we got the commas. Now, the exercise for you guys is to introduce one of those expressions for each sentence where is it where are they going to go oh in this case you see one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising social networking sites one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising simply put social networking sites so you see you get rid of the period here 
Remember, this is period. This is point. Or this one is known as a part. If you're reading, you say, one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising, period. Social networking sites, a part. Okay? So you get rid of the period here. You get the comma, the expression, and then another comma. What is your activity? You are going to choose one for per sentence. How working in groups again? I'll send you to the group. This is going to be quite easy. I'll send, I'm sending you the picture right about now. Okay, it's gone already. And when you come back, I will explain a little bit more about this because there are some others, okay? Let me, oops, sorry, my bad. Hey, Roxana, welcome. Thanks. Cool. Guys, jump into the groups. Hello. I'll send you to another group, Sylvia, so you can work with Hambar. No, we need to uh, add the, the the necessary punctuation to join the clause and press together. Like simply put in other words to say, simply put. Mm -hmm. But remember, it's not just placing any word. In some cases, you need to be careful which, which is the one that you are using, like in number two. You see, brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. In other words, the consumer knows okay. that a particular brand exists. Okay. We need to choose the correct. Yeah. In other words, the second is in other words. In the brands exist. The customer in other words. Uh -huh. Which in one? Other, the second. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Other words. Excellent. Okay. Number three, we brand to recognize the recognition after we post the is a for to identify a certain product or service. Customer is a buyer, is able to identify a certain product or service. By viewing the products known. Customer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
sería es decir yeah I'm agree which is number three you say uh, namely. namely number four ah one moment please the branch has there's two options for number in four. In other words. It's one of them. Yeah, in the in other words, it's number four. Yeah, there's another option. You can say in other words and it's okay, it's correct. Another option will be this means. Okay. Which means? This okay. means or which this means. means. Teacher. Yes. One question. Este, uh, in this sentencing, is possible uh, ambos? Yep. Okay. Thank you. You have to push Polish high quality content. Important element of brand awareness. The customer. Which means? Or to say that, oh no, after the, 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 the period, we need Which to insert the, yes, the expression yes. after, after, the, after period. the period. Instead of the period, you get a comma. Okay. okay. So which one are you in? Number two or three or four? Okay. Number two. Brand, brand recognition, recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. In other words, mm. or which means? No, in number two, you use, you use in other words. In other words, the consumers knows that particular brand exists. Yes. It's like in number three. Can you okay. check number three? Sylvia got starts like brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service, comma, namely by viewing the product's logo. Okay. Namely. These brands have become well known. They have been. Um, Mm, that is no. Say it. Let's. I mean, remember, you can make a mistake. That's okay. <clears throat> what you got for number four? Or which this which means oh no, perfect <laughs> okay <laughs> you can say this means which means or you can also say in other words in okay. that one you can have any of those three okay okay 
you have to publish high quality content. Okay, guys, this was a very interesting activity, right? Why don't you let me read the sentence for you? Okay, pay attention and correct. Okay, check out. Number two, brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. In other words, the consumer knows that a particular brand exists in other words. Number three, brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service, namely by viewing the product's logo, namely. Number four, these brands have become well known in this case, you got three options. This means, which means, in other words, they have replaced the common terms for similar products in our language. And number five, you have to publish high quality content. Simply put, by creating valuable content to be introduced to new audiences, simply put. Very interesting exercise, right? Now, something that we must take into consideration is that uh, when you're trying to clarify a point or an idea, you can say, uh, you can also say that like uh, in more detail, in other words, to say it differently, to put it differently, okay? So that's, those expressions are, made, are used to clarify a point. And it's very important that we use them appropriately, okay? So remember, this type of expressions, you need to actually use them. In other words, simply put, and if you start thinking about it, uh, we use it in Spanish, just that the way in which we use them is a little bit different because we usually say, uh, es decir, or quiere decir. Those are the words that, or the phrases that we use in Spanish. But in English, if you see, 
Uh, we are saying para nombrar algunas. That would be namely. Okay. So, do you have any question about this topic? Okay. Then, I got a very interesting question, okay? Let me lay it down for you. Every day, uh, we perform many activities on a daily basis, right? Uh, like we play, we read a book, perhaps uh, we work a lot. We are, all of us do, I mean, we are workers, right? But uh, there, are, there are also some activities that we would like to do. And perhaps we don't dedicate enough time to them. Like uh, in my case, I love reading, but lately I have not been able to read as much as I like because of my activities, my personal activities, you know, uh, I have to work. And I work a lot and so I don't have enough time. But my question for you is the following one. What is something you are not spending enough time doing? So guys, you are going to ask each other, think about it. What is something you are not spending enough time doing? Like Wilfredo, I know for sure that he's not, uh, is not sleeping as many hours as he should, right, Wilfredo? So that's an activity, that is one activity that he's not spending enough time doing, right? Or perhaps uh, spending time with the family. Some of us, we don't do it because uh, our obligations some of us actually don't spend enough time going out because in some cases, like in some with some of your classmates here, Wilfredo is different, you know, because you have to go to your job, you travel, you commute, but some of your classmates, they work from home. So they never get out because they work from, they wake up turn on the computer, start working and finish working. Then they got class and from Monday to Saturday, so they don't get out of their house. So the situation has changed. I want you guys to go get into the groups and start talking about it. What is something you are not spending enough time doing? Okay. Okay. Teacher. But now, now the groups are going to be a little bit bigger. Okay. So please jump in. Do the conversation. You'll enjoy it. I am sure of it. Hey, Francisco. Hello, teacher. I think everybody right now is in the limbo trying to get to connect. You see, there's Claudia. Hello, Claudia.
Oh, yeah. Let's hope Janita gets Hello, connected. Teacher. Okay, there's Francisco here to work with you, okay? Ask each other the questions. Yeah. Uh, the, okay. What do you think, William Rosales? What? Uh, what do you think? Why sometimes you are not spreading and now the tie down? Can you? Hello, hello. Tell me, tell me. What is the question? What is something you are not explaining and now tie doing? That's the question. Oh. I, I I stand up from my desk to I don't know to some to take some air or to to walk a little, but but I stand up at I don't know six thirty or seven or seven thirty. So at eight o'clock I have a class. I always arrive late <laughs> mm -hmm. and after the class i have i have pain from from work and i had all the activities i have to work uh, at weekend you know my my <laughs> my time is very limited okay and how much time do you have to to go out for for a walk maybe uh, I don't know. I, I only I only go out to the to the hall <laughs> to the hall or bueno no sé el el pasillo bueno el pasaje the hall the hall the hall uh -huh. uh, only I just I I go out um, some minutes and I take some air because uh, I have a I don't know I had uh, bad lucky. No, because when I when I go out to the hall, suddenly I have a call, and I had to return to to review something in the in the yeah. <laughs> and, You know, and my 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 time is very limited, but I try to I try to be free on weekends uh, as much as possible because it's it's time when I I share time with my family. Mm -hmm. like, it's complicated, but I'm just it. Okay. And I think my family used to. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, yeah. the, the, ne the next week, I enjoy that. I, I don't have, I will not have <laughs> English class. Teacher, <laughs> they cannot. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. I am taking. Uh, so I, I will have some some hours to I don't know to to eat uh, in calm and to to watching a a movie maybe someday mm -hmm. or or finish my 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 paintings soon uh, soon as possible. Or go to the bed. <laughs> uh -huh. You need to take advantage of your time of vacation. Yes, yes, but you are uh, not, uh, well, <laughs> yeah, but when but when, need, oh, when when we have a pause on on this English class, I I advantage of this time because I have uh, various courses, uh, uh, a medias. <laughs> uh huh. Halfway. And, Halfway, ah, medio camino, halfway. Halfway, and, mm -hmm. and, and I try to Finish. advance, and I try to advance because. Después de, after that exam. I got After that, I think that I need to practice more English. Same on and... you, yes, you need to, you have to. Yes, I know. But you know, I need 
spend time <laughs> in myself, teacher. Life is not and only work. Sometimes for myself. And sometimes for myself. The life is not only work. Like you, you know. Exactly. So in my case, I think that I need to spend more time in my family, in my own business, maybe gym or resting or practice English. Okay, guys, now next question, look. Do you think technology will help humans live longer and longer? Well, the context is this. Uh, the advancements in technology uh, have helped people to get, uh, well, to do better research and on all illnesses, but do you think technology will help the humans to, to reach to an older age than the ones we are reaching right now? That's the point that we are going to discuss. Now, I am going to switch some of you in the groups. So your partners in some cases are going to be different. Please jump in, five minutes for this discussion. Let's go check on the groups. Let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this group. Oh my gosh. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Science men, I don't know. Uh, they invade, invade or create the vaccines for some the 
son enfer enfermedades, no sé cómo se dice así. Illnesses. 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 Yes, for example, COVID vaccine or influenza vaccine. I don't know. And maybe in the future, we, we can have the, the cure for cancer or BIH, I don't know. Okay. And that in a couple of years, the you receive a, a message <laughs> say uh, the database virus it's uh, okay eh? it's, it's, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny guys that's funny <laughs> <laughs> it's possible <laughs> yeah it is uh, uh, i'll uh, can uh, happen <laughs> anything anything Anything, okay, teacher. Anything can yeah, happen. But I, I think that the virus, the virus are, well, the virus are forever. So, you know, uh, always, uh, always it's, it exists. But yes. technology will help to to fight. <laughs> I, I think that in the. I think in the future uh, uh, that the uh, how do you say mejora teacher improvement improvement okay the I, I think in the future that the improvement maybe the the fast detection of, of virus or uh, uh, make a, a, a probability that the uh, virus uh, came a, a mute. I think uh, the, in the future, the technology uh, are improved in this, in this area. Okay. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no, who knows? Or maybe the, the, the humanity will surrender in the, in the fight against the virus. I, by the way, I recommended you to listen case uh, K63. It's a podcast on Spotify. It's about- Case, the, uh -huh. case 63. K63, Caso 63. Tell me, tell me, William. Is technology in other countries true? Yes, yes, it is very nice. It is, it is very done. Is the uh, Salvador no exist? Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. I'm sorry. Yes, but, but. I, I guess that if uh, talking about health technology, it is it is a very good opportunity to get more more life. Mm -hmm. To increase the probability of the human life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Walter, ilustrenos. Oh my God! Hey, um, I think, and the people that this time is different. I remember need money, right? It's complex because if you don't have enough money to to spend in a processes, maybe you can't get a longer life. I think so. What yeah. do you think? But but it's uh, actually 
is uh, many advantage about the medicine, for example, is is a uh, help for for people. So yes. uh, I think so. The technology is is very important for forget the advantage. Yeah, but now I think that uh, our country is not prepared to get a uh, good technology because we don't have enough money. Maybe in another uh, countries, country. yeah, if you have money, you can get a, a good process and you can get another option. But now, in our country is complex, you know. But maybe in the future uh, we can get a good, I don't know, a good option? Yeah. Maybe uh, the okay. doctors or, uh, I don't know, the companies get uh, another uh, <laughs> star, uh, get okay. what? A robot what? friend. <laughs> okay <laughs> a robot friend yeah if you if you want okay <laughs> the robot I the human. Human. <laughs> a waiter oh, a waiter <laughs> a voice <laughs> robot I'm gone again you scare me guys <laughs> They are really scary. <laughs> oh my gosh, who's laughing like that? Just kidding, teacher. No comments. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe um, if in the future um, companies or universities or common people maybe can get a um, better as so this and studies. studies and I don't know, maybe uh, they will prepare uh, good options for the for the rest for the rest of the people because now it's complex. Okay, guys, it was actually quite interesting. I was, uh, I went from group to group and conversations got interesting. Uh, the level of vocabulary you were using was also a very good one. And I'm glad to tell you that uh, I can see real improvements in your conversation skills. That's something that I am really happy for you. And well, let's see. Before I finish, let me just remind you, antes de terminar, solo recordarles, si no han recibido ahora, creo que mañana recibirían la, 
el link para la encuesta de satisfacción, la encuesta de satisfacción. Recuérdense que eso lo llenamos al final, en la última clase, el día viernes, todos juntos. Por favor, permítanme tomarles la asistencia final. Eh, Ámbar Elia Alfaro Gómez. Presen. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Presen. Thank you. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez. Present teacher. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Calves. Present teacher. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Thank you guys. Always a pleasure to be with you. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Guys. See you tomorrow. Have a nice sleep. See you, Try see you tomorrow. To. See you, Mr. Take care. Okay, let's see your Sylvia. Hello. Hello, Sylvia. How are you? I am good, thank you. What about you? Just fine, just fine. Do you have a couple of minutes? Yeah, sure. Okay, Sylvia, let's see. Now, in your case, actually, I'll need you to do me a favor. Let me see, just a second. Yes, teacher, how are you doing today? No, it's, it's always a pleasure, but as I tell you, uh, in your case, you got a very good, well, your pronunciation is almost flawless, which is great. And the good thing is that you have the chance, the opportunity to practice that has helped you to have a good, uh, a good fluence. But now I would like you to, to jump, step up, okay? Yeah. And the next step right. for you is not just being able to, to speak English because right now you can communicate. You can communicate clearly with anybody, but I would like you to use a better level of vocabulary, okay? To increase okay. not just the amount of words you know, but the quality of the vocabulary you apply, okay? So if you notice, uh, I could tell you the type of vocabulary you use, but instead of that, I say, oh, the quality of the vocabulary you apply while communicating with other people. If you notice, I'm using a different level of vocabulary. Yeah, that's right. And you are able to understand it because you understand it. Your listening is pretty good, but you are not using it. And that's what I want you to do, to take that jump, okay? Perfect, I can do it. Sure, okay. just uh, send me the information and I can start reading and practicing. Yeah, sure, sure. Just be sure to remind me, not tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm going to be quite busy. Totally, but take okay. notes, uh, put it in your calendar or somewhere, but remind me between Thursday and Friday, okay? As I tell you, when not tomorrow, we finish tomorrow. Friday, right? Yeah, Friday we finish. Okay, yeah, sure. So I will let way, you know. Yeah, that way I will help you because I will try to get a uh, in touch with the people from the company to let me the, the group open so I can continue talking to you guys during vacation. But uh, in your particular case, as I tell you, uh, your level of 
your fluency is good, you've got a very good speaking skills, but now I would like you to get to make that leap, to jump that leap, to overcome it. So instead of using a, a normal, a regular vocabulary, like an intermediate vocabulary, I want you to use higher level of English, okay? Yeah, perfect. And, and right at this point, you are in the exact moment where we can make that, take that step, and it will help you in your process of learning how to speak English. Okay, nice. Sounds good. Thank you so much no, for your no, help. No problem, no problem, no problem. So be sure to remind me, okay? Yeah, perfect. I'll let you know on Friday, okay? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Have a good night, my dear, take care. Okay, thank you, teacher. Have a good night. To you. See ya. See ya.
Okay, well, let's see. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good night.